For America's armed forces, innovation aids battle readiness. But relying on an old energy source, foreign oil, puts that readiness at risk. Transporting our servicemen and women across land, air, and sea requires more than 375,000 barrels of oil each day. For every $10 increase per barrel of oil, Department of Defense budgets spike by $1.4 billion. That's a problem the military believes it can solve, in part through a long-term strategy to develop advanced biofuels. The, the Department of uh, Defense's energy use has strategic and tactical consequences and also opportunities, and that investments in energy security and in promoting innovation, it can help us lower the risks to our troops, um, improve our military effectiveness, and reduce our costs also. Sources for advanced biofuels include algae, the oilseed plant camelina, sawgrass, and biomass like wood chips or even chicken fat, all organic materials that are domestically grown and cleaner than foreign oil. And unlike corn-derived ethanol, they don't impact food security. Advanced biofuels are dropped into existing engines used by aircraft, ships, and tanks. That's an innovation already drawing rave reviews from pilots. It's absolutely fabulous. You, you cannot tell there's biofuel in the airplane, and I mean that. By 2016, the Air Force hopes alternative sources will fulfill 50% of its aviation needs. And in the Navy, a strike group called the Great Green Fleet will cross oceans powered by advanced biofuels. As one of the largest energy consumers in the world, the Department of Defense is in a unique position to drive change in the energy sector. Investing in alternative biofuels is a way to mitigate large risks in the future. Increasing the military's use of domestic energy sources can cut costs and save lives. We're in a race and a competition with the rest of the industrial nations of the world, many of whom have strong internal policies. Our nation needs to develop its own strong internal policy, understood by the industrial base, understood by the people, if we're going to compete.